everybody, Tony from Analog Motorcycles and today's product and tech tip is going to be featuring the Ultra Touch UT100SI. This is a master appliance product made in beautiful Racine, Wisconsin, where I grew up. Available at wirecare.com. This is a butane powered torch, also soldering iron, and it has several different tips you can buy for them. Check out the wirecare.com website to see all the different tips. And we're going to show you a couple of soldering joints that I typically do around here using this ultra torch. Incredibly handy. If you need to solder something, you gotta pull out a cord, pull out a power supply, set it up, blah, 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 blah. With this one, it's butane powered, so you just need some butane in your torch, and it actually will self-ignite, and you can have a basically a, a cordless soldering iron wherever you go, capable up to, I think it's 900 plus uh, degrees Fahrenheit. So you can solder some pretty thick wire with this guy. We have found it extremely handy. We put us an LED strip here in the shop recently and it was nice just to grab it, go up there, solder some ends together, done. So we're going to show you some different uh, techniques that we use. You're going to need some safety glasses because it's always a good idea to wear safety glasses when you're soldering. Some flux, some solder, of course your Ultra Torch UT100SI. We're using the Pressmaster stripper cutter for stripping and wiring. And these are handy, this is a third hand. Um, this one happens to have the sponge for cleaning off your torch and the torch holder. Uh, these are available everywhere. Here we go. First uh, I'm gonna show you is, uh, when you're taking two smaller wires, uh, I do two different techniques when I go to solder them together. So I'll take some wire and strip them at the same length. Uh, take some flux. Put a little bit on the end of the wire, it helps the solder flow better. And then I will take that strip part, bend it in half on both pieces that you're going to solder together. Basically you had two candy canes. You link them together and then squeeze them down. So essentially they hook on one another. Set that up in our third hand or wherever you're at. Take the torch, there's an on and off setting. So right now it's off. You switch it to on, the gas will start to flow and then you press the ignition button and hold until it lights up. So right now the gas is flowing. Press and hold. You see the little white element in there start to turn orange. Now you know that you're good and you are running and live. There's a one through five setting. Um, Obviously five is as hot as can be, one is as, uh, not as hot. This wire is pretty thin, so we're gonna put it in like the three range. So this thing gets hot pretty quick. Um, I usually will do that part after I fire it up and then it's ready to go as soon as I am ready to solder. So here we go, clean off that tip. Put a little bit of solder on there, make sure it's good to go. Then you have those two that are together. You stick your solder iron on it. As soon as you start to see that flux bubble, feed a little bit more solder. And done. So that right there is a secure solder connection that will not come apart. Your solder all the way through it, it's good to go. Another technique that we will do is occasionally I will take one side and strip it longer. So roughly three quarters of an inch. And I'll take the uh, next wire and I'll go about half that distance. So roughly three eighths of an inch. Flux on both of those connections. Got one that's long, one that's short. I'll line up the ends, twist them together, and then take the longer version or the longer side and fold it in. And since you did about halfway, it actually makes the wire about the same length. Put that in your clamp or however you want to hold it. Same thing, soldering iron's hot. Clean up there as soon as 
that flux starts to boil, just beat it some solder. Same thing, super strong joint. So either one of those are ones that we do pretty often around here when we're soldering up in a motorcycle situation. Um, they both work very well. Another way that we solder is all of our ring connectors or ends that we put in there. I know they're crimp type, but we actually like to solder them as well. So we already got some wire stripped off of this one here. We're gonna go ahead Put some flux in that wire. Make sure you get to all the strands pretty good. Then we'll twist it up. We'll stick it in the wire terminal. Crimp it just so that it stays put. So we're crimped, it's in there. And it's nice to trust that, but we like to give it a little bit extra. So we'll stick this in the clamps here. This is a little bit thicker wire, so I'm gonna turn it up. So soldering the tip of that along with the crimp, that terminal will never come off. And that's the idea. Then we put a little piece of heat shrink over that and good to go. So that is the Ultra Torch UT100SI. Extremely handy. It also has a fitting for just actually a torch so you can use it to heat things up. Um, it comes with a heat shrink adapter as well in the kit from the factory. Just a very, very handy tool. We love this thing around the shop because um, you don't need a cord. You just grab it, fire it up, and you can solder, heat, and do whatever you need to do. So check out wirecare.com for the Ultra Torch and all of your wire care needs. So shrink tubing, crimping, stripping, cutting, soldering, all your cable management. Check it out, wirecare.com. Thanks for watching.